This is a Magento security patch tutorial. My name is Charles Tran and I'm a web developer at Live Mobile Technology Inc. Magento security patch tutorial is for patching your Magento e-commerce security for the previous version from version 1.4 to current version. The current version of Magento as of October 24th, 2015 is 1.9.2.1. These important security patches addresses issues related to the Magento Community Edition. According to ZDNet website article by Charlie Osborne on October 19, 2015, there were thousands of e-commerce Magento websites struck with the Grunk site malware. Approximately over 7,000 sites were affected. So Magento sent out a security update and requests all developers to patch the security updates as soon as possible. You can read these articles in my description below this video. Let's start the security patch tutorial. First, go to a website called magereport.com. Type in the name of your website. This website report will help explain which security vulnerabilities you have. I'm going to type in a sample website that has a security vulnerability for you to see. For security reasons, I will not display this exact URL, but I will show you how this website will scan this sample URL and give a detailed report of what Magento security patches is needed to secure this site. Once you click go, what this report does is it scans the Magento's website for security vulnerabilities and it gives you a report of what security vulnerabilities you have. In this case, there's one that is called security patch 5344, which is this one. I'm going to show you how to patch the security patch 5344. This is very important note you need to know. Whenever you patch, it's always recommended to back up your site. Next, you will need to go to the magento.com slash download page and then download the security patch you need. So you're going to go to here and look for 5344 security patch. And the one you're looking for is this one here and you would select the version. So you have to know your Magento version. Your Magento version will be in your administrator dashboard in the footer area right here. Going back to this, I'm going to select Magento CE Community Edition. 1.8, I'm gonna click on download. So where I save the download is in my desktop. The next thing you're gonna to have to do is open up FileZilla. You will need to upload this patch file to your public underscore HTML directory, which is your Magento application root folder. Once you upload it there, you're ready to patch the file. You will need to access to your website hosting SSH, and you will need to run a few commands. If you're hosting with HostGator or GoDaddy or any other hosting, you need to make sure that they give you access to SSH. If they don't, you need to call them and request them to give you access. That's very important. To SSH into your website, you need a terminal or a bash command line. If for Windows, you use PuTTY. For a Mac, in this tutorial, I'll be using a Mac terminal. I'm going to open my Mac terminal on the upper right hand corner you open Spotlight and type in the terminal and you click on that and it opens. Once you open it, you're ready to SSH into your website. From here, type in SSH, the username of your website and the IP address in this case uh, to... Okay, so you click yes and you type in the password Now, once you type it in, I'm going to type in cd public underscore html and I'm going to ls into this and this is all your commands there. As you can see, this patch that you uploaded from your FTP is in this public underscore html. From here, you would type in sh and you type in patch underscore S-U-P-E and just typically you just press tab and it will auto fill the rest of your patch name. Press enter 
and once you press enter it will patch this file. You would then go to the back end of your Magento system and you would go to the cache management right here. Once you're there you select all and flush the Magento cache. When you do that it will flush the Magento cache and once it's done the Magento cache storage has been flushed successfully. Your next thing you would do is go to your SSH terminal and then you would want to clear this. Here you would type in, just make sure you're still in the public underscore HTML um, directory of there and you would type in cd app slash etsy etc and you would type this command in. This command would be grep with the with the double quote pipe and double quote again and type in apply dot patches dot list enter when you do that it will tell you which patch has been applied and one of the patch that we applied was the SUPEE5344 if that it displays it you successfully patch that Magento security patch after the patch has been applied, the security has been updated. And therefore, when you run this magereport.com, it will display something like this. It will show you a green box with the security patch 53344 has been installed. Thanks for watching my videos. Visit my website at www.livemobiletechnology.com. For more tutorials, subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you like this video, click on the like button below.